Greetings, semen emulsifiers, as well as individuals who shove potatoes up their asses in the most pleasant way possible. I wonder how that feels. Well, that guy just told us. Anyways, yes, welcome to Doorways. Uh, a pretty trippy, crazy, very dark looking indie horror game. Um, don't know much about it. The puzzle game, I think. Uh, and one of the voices, if not the one voice that we'll be seeing of the primary character and narrator, is the guy who voiced uh, Alexander Brennenberg from Amnesia. So that's pretty cool, because the guy had a pretty cool voice. So uh, let's just get right into it. This is uh, chapters 1 and 2 put together. Um, hopefully it'll keep my progress, because I plan on uh, bouncing out of here in about a half hour, because I'm going to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So press a key. All right. What have you got for we me? We have been assigned some cases. These psychopaths must be found. The other agents couldn't get them. But I can do it. Alright. Alright, so it's 9.11 right now. We'll peace out at 9.33 so I can go watch the movie. Let's see credits. Oh, fuck that shit. Who cares about those guys? Before we're blah, 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 blah. We all know this stuff. Alright. So it's basically just like Amnesia's controls. So, I guess we're a cop or something, some investigator, and we're going after some serial killers. I hope it wasn't Lucky Charms. I'm not understanding if they're supposed to be like living in some strange dimension to this, or this guy is just like totally chill at the fact that he's in an underground lair where his torches light themselves. I mean, whatever, that's cool. Well, he could go through this important looking door, but why not, you know, lick my ass and go this way? Well, because we can't go that way. Well, how about lick my ass again, door? I'm going this way. Again, maybe not. I suppose if you're Alexander of Brennenberg, you just don't give a shit. That's cool. Eh? The journey will not begin until you're ready. What do you need? A box of key valuable objects, a place to locate notes, items, and papers, and a bag to put tools to use when necessary. The fuck? Oh, okay, it's the gathering of our uh, inventory. Interesting. Oh, well, we can't go in there, but that door did open. That's strange. Okay. I can see why the cops didn't get these guys, because already, uh, shit's weird. It's like we're, uh, underground or something. Alright, we gotta get our, our, our three shits. Oh, okay, I guess we're primarily going through there. Alright. I wonder what happens if we just are like, fuck you all! That. Uh, I'm afraid there'll be like a Karanek to sh gonna show up and like wreck our shit or something. You know, I mean, Alexander is a strange man. I will refer to this guy as Alexander because y you can't change it to that fucking voice. Choices? Or not. Well, let's see if we could go there. We could also go here. Let's go this way because, you know, my name is Philip McCleveland. Phyllis McCleveland, actually, in uh, New Jersey. Depends, really. Well, that's fucking useless. Oh! Well, hold mouse one over objects to push them, hold two to attract them. Man, if only it were that easy, I'd just go on public with a mouse and just hold down the right mouse trigger and just all these girls just. Oh, wait. That doesn't happen. Anyways, uh, if you found an item, press on press on one to pick it up. Can I, like, pfft, oh, okay. Well, that was useless, because... You all... Oh. Oh, hello. What have we here? <gasps> Son of a bitch. Okay, well... Ah! Ah! Move it, fat ass. There's something in there. Gimme, gimme. Relics. are. Oh, that's where we keep our shit. Nice. All right, that's clever. And we have this modern art masterpiece. Let's just take it out and look at it again. I assume once we get more, we can move through them with the arrow keys or something. But now we just have that on us. All right. Let's see. Let's see if anything else in here is. Oh, oh yeah, come to me. Come to me, rock hard. I'm a pervert. Sees us back the way we went. You bet your ass it is. I bet that thing up there will say press control to crouch, but we don't need that. Ha! <laughs> Pussy first timers. Alright, so we got that. 
And it lets me enter through these verdant fines and be like, <gasps> Fire, motherfucker, be fire burning, fire burning in the serial killer hideout. Why is this so useless? I thought this was going to be the useful way because, you know, that there was fire and shit. But I guess not. Maybe if we jump on the fire, you know, that that fire is just burning there. There's no discernible source. God damn. So is this like a dead end? Or something that makes me, makes me want to cry. I'm trying to figure if we put this hermaphrodite unsexualized. No, he, he's a, he's a nullo. That's what he is. I am hermaphrodite. What the fuck am I saying? Put that on the fire and be like, burn. And then whip out our dicks and masturbate to fire. Because, you know, pyromania is the sexual attraction to fire. Which I think all humans have in some degree or another. If it wasn't for that, we may never have evolved. Just a thought. Oh, okay, well, we're doing something, right? The first time in my life. Okay. So I guess Alexander uh, should feel right at home here. Oh, we got more butter on the wall. Move forward and jump at the same time, reversing space. All right, Mario. The first time doing this. Come on. That was easy. Notes. All right. With N. Isn't that fucking novel? Wow, okay. I don't know what I'm doing in this place. Is it a dream? It feels too... Why am I reading it like a fuck-ass? I'm trying to read it like Alexander. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing in this place. Is it a dream? It feels too real for that. Sounds like a guy who's got a sausage tucked in his bum. Did you know, actually, that, um... The, uh, the German word for I don't care, well, the German phrase for I don't care, I forget what it is offhand, but I do know uh, translated uh, into English, it means literally this is sausage to me. I just, I <laughs> that's fabulous. It's like, oh, <laughs> you, uh, you achieve something in life and you think that makes you better than me? That is sausage to me. It's just like the perfect diss. It's like, <laughs> fuck you and your sausage, because this is sausage to me. I don't know, it's just fabulous. Just like, oh, Lil Wayne put out a new album? Pfft, this is sausage to me. I'm trying to think if maybe we can get over there, because I thought I saw something pretty over there. Like that. Y'all yeah, see that, right? Alright, cool. I'm thinking maybe, maybe we could hop up here. There's a plink, plink, plink. Hey, what up, motherfuckers and the motherfucking Xterra? What up, bitches? Oh, another relic. Alright. I'm down with that. Gimme, gimme. Alright. So the only reason I was concerned of if this game would uh, shave my progress or not uh, is because it's built in Unity. But it's built in Unity 4, which is obviously drastically different than most of the uh, horror games built in Unity. I guess a lot of them are just a very basic, simple concept. This is actually taking it somewhere. Um, I think, actually, I may be mistaken. I may be attempting to look intelligent when in reality I'm just making a fool of myself. But uh, maybe it has an autosave function, which would be nice. Let me see if I hit uh, this. God. Just trying to think if we did have the piece, which we will. It'll save our progress. Because uh, it's, a, it's a Sunday night right now for me. And, uh, I got school tomorrow, and I want to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre to get in the spirit of Halloween, which is like in, uh, buddy, buddy, bo, 11 days. Oh, and by the way, any of my fans who, um, live near me, uh, if you, you, you know who you are, um, then you all know about a lovely haunted house, well, no, I used lovely sarcastically this year, called Fright World. Yeah, it's, uh, it used to be a big deal. Well, it still is, because everyone fucking goes there. But, uh... Make your own way to get to the top. Such is my sex life. Um, and it was really big... Well, I mean, it still is really big. I keep, I keep repeating myself. Uh, it's really big. Everyone always goes to it uh, and stuff. But uh, they got famous a few years back in 09 because they were on the Travel Channel for being, like, one of the scariest haunts and... America or whatever, and ironically they've, uh, item box ramp, they've done away with, uh, both of the, like, two of the biggest, two of the featured haunts that were on TV when they were on TV that got them on TV, namely, uh, House of the Dead and Carnival. neither of those are there anymore, uh, despite the fact being the ones that gained attention to begin with, um, 
they've had the same five houses for at least the past three years because that's as long as I've been going. It may have been even longer because, like I said, I only started going uh, back in 2011, actually. I go and investigate here because... Yeah, hold on. What do we have here? The walls in this oh. cave seem to be closing in on me, but something about this place seems familiar. I feel calm for some reason. My belongings, or what I think are my belongings, are here. That's odd. Alexander read it in his own voice, but he wouldn't read the other notes aloud because he's a prick. Uh, was that his own note to himself? Did he pass through this many times before? Because he has amnesia. Or another person went through this and failed. Interesting. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I've only been gone for the past three years. And, uh, I guess that's when my girlfriend finally convinced... Ex-girlfriend at the time. Now ex-girlfriend. Girlfriend at the time. Finally convinced me to go, because I was f too scared of what it would be like. And, of course, I found out it was, like, one of the most fun things in the world. I was a pussy up until then. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. So I don't know what it was like before that. Uh, it has five houses, and they haven't changed at least since then. There's a grindhouse, phobias, wicked woods, death trap... Raven Hill Asylum. I think it's that five. Yeah, okay. That is. Uh, wait, let me count again, because I feel like Grindhouse, Wicked Woods, Phobia's Death Trap, Raven Hill. Okay, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> uh, and uh, they decide, oh, we're going to put two new houses in this year. We're going we're gonna to change two of the houses. Like, okay, sweet. Finally get a new theme after a few years. And what do they do? They add in Condemned and... Oh, wait, I got a pimple on my arm here. Hold on. <sighs> That's bad. And... Uh, and Eerie State Asylum. It turns out Condemned is just a reskin version of Wicked Woods. You found all you need. You check your inventory to find a way to pass through the door. Open your inventory by pressing Tab. Or I. Which is what I just did, because fuck the police! <coughs> Alright, can we just stick it in there? Like, vaginal forced penetration? Cool. So, uh... Yeah, they just <laughs> literally changed the name of Wicked Woods to Condemned. Changed the monsters who show up in there a little bit. And changed up and changed the name of Raven Hill Asylum to Erie State Asylum. Changed up the layouts a little bit. And now I went on Friday, and it was the most boring, bland, mediocre piss in the world. I had a lot of fun the first year I went, and I had a lot of fun last year. Now it's just again the same five houses. They changed up the layouts a little bit, but it was the same props, same idea, boring and uninteresting. But uh, the other two houses around here, Final Fear and Haunted Catacombs are really good. Uh, Final Fear always tries to change it up. Catacombs does too. Catacombs has a new house this year. And me and my friend are going to something called Blackout, which is after Halloween, which is where they turn off all the lights and you gotta go through all the houses in pitch black darkness with all the monsters and stuff in there too. There are things which are burned into my memory. My name is Thomas Foster. And my no, it's Alex! Ander of Brennenberg. To justice. I just hope to resist their sadistic influences. Their corrupted minds could overpower my own. I will find them. I must. Cool story, bro. So yeah, it's uh, Final Fear is really good, and so is Catacombs. But Frey World this year, it's piss. It's boring as dicks, and that's why I love horror games because they're always something new and interesting. And yeah, his name is not Thomas or whatever the fuck. It's Alexander. Oh, Brennenberg. De Brennenbergo. Tacos. In the hood. Motherfucker. The forest of steaks. <gasps> steaks somewhere? For me? Steak. We're gonna go get some steak. I want steak. I love steak. How do you like your steak, guys? I like my steak medium rare. And maybe if you, uh, you know, I like it red. It's, it's real nice when it's red. Uh, with, with some, with some bacon on it. <laughs> or bacon, like, wrapped in bacon. Aw, oh, man, that's the shit. <gasps> Let me through, fuck ass. Come on, I can hardly see dick. It's not that I'm even scared, it's just... I can't fucking see, so I can't fucking tell where I'm going. Let me, like, sit up a little ways so hopefully I can play on the monitor's, uh, brightness. Come on. I, I, I get it. We're in the forest of El, El 
carne. La carne? Fuck the Spanish people. <laughs> Whatever they're called. My ex girlfriends was Mexican, so that's good enough reason why. Uh, Alright. Come on, let's see here. Can we, like, pass through this here? Oh no, it's a shadow, so fuck you! Ah, here we go. Jake Gibbs. London, England, 1962. Professor of History. Classy. Suspected for the kidnapping of 17 people. Oh. He's appeared in the adjoining areas of a cabin owned by his family. The missing persons have in common certain indirect factors, religions or pagan practices, foreign nationality, that are not reason enough for the local police to start an investigation. Doorways. Link the profiles of the victims to the topics in which Professor Gibbs specializes. Okay. Just had to drop the title in there, didn't you guys? You cheeky bastards. Oh, now we can get through there. I guess reading is the key. This game is ultimately educational. I fucking knew it. God damn it, did that really hurt you, Alexander? You fucking pussy. Excuse me? masturbate our way through here? We can. What's this? Hello. Ooh, is that a weapon? Oh, it's a torch. This could prove useful. Alright, let's see. Can we use a torch on, like, use it and light it on one of these things? <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm a genius. He says as he itches his own balls. You're fucking kidding me, right? That's how long my torch lasts? Good thing he wasn't Daniel in Amnesia. Fuck my ass and call me Samuel. The boatman. I'd arrived at the crossroads. I knew I had to keep going and follow his steps if I wanted to find the professor. But I found something about the place absolutely terrifying. I felt trapped, oppressed by those dark veils. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand a single minute lost in the darkness. I need to find a light source as soon as possible. Way ahead of you, buddy. Wh whip it out. Why you no whip it out like you don't give a fuck? There we go. Can we, like, light it on it longer to, like, make it happen longer? Or, no, alright, fine. Lick my ass. There's a lot of ass looking going on in this small... Fuck. I guess this could... Come on. Get out of the darkness and illuminate your way out. That's what I've been fucking doing, alright? Don't suck my ass. Yeah, I changed it because we were licking asses before. Now we're sucking them. How do you feel about that? You know, it's a, it's a different approach in uh, the department. Uh, I'm the chair of the department, actually. Now what? We just crossed the dark ravine for what? Jack shit? Come on. Oh, maybe there's a way out in there. And this is like our refueling station for masturbation. Alright. And creepy girl gets us in here, so. Okay. Well, obviously that's where we've got to head, and we need this to light our way. I feel like there's a way out through it, because there is, and I'm always right, which I just found. Ha <laughs> ha, Sherrod, you are. Alright. And... doobity doop doop. Ah, uh, new note. Reading is the key. At that moment, I felt I was retracing the steps of many others like me. How did they overcome the mortal chill that lurks in the darkness? Their souls went astray and got lost forever in the shadows. Because there was another horror that scared them even more, that made them flee into the dark woods. They fled the place I'm entering. Pussies. <sighs> time is it? Right there. <sighs> yeah, it's about time for Texas. Chainsaw Massacre. 
the original, of course, before any of you question me. Oh, you watching the remake? You you watching the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, 3D? No. You watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre from uh, 2001 or 2004, whatever that fucking remake was? No. Oh, you watching the? No. I'm watching the original 1971 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh boy. All right. Well. Hopefully this game will have saved my progress when I come back to it tomorrow night. If not, I may just have to uh, whip out my cock and smash it into every person's face in the immediate vicinity and then offer them a, uh, a strawberry smoothie to console their grief. And then when they're drinking it, I'll shove their face in it and worship the great Lord Satan because Satan is the answer to everything. Hail Kurt Cobain.